Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four legs scattered abroad. Alright, I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you again with a, another lesson. And uh Lord's willing, I pray, you know, it's edifying. To all those of the whole four elect who ever come across the page, you know, may edify you, you know, put you up on some updates or something, you know, whatever it is, anything that, that helps, um, you know, our faith to be strong in these latter days, because, uh, you know, this is truly the end, and, you know, I've seen a lot of reports this morning, and I was catching up on videos, and uh, this one here, I'm on my drive, you know, so I was watching Lisa Haven again, and uh, she talked about this shortage, which uh, which is coming, you know, and uh, all of these different reports are saying the same thing. So, hey, you know, just just again, famine, you know, famine, man. All right, uh, they say it's coming this winter, you know. Well, we in the winter now. You can feel, it feel like it, you know. We've gotten cold again a little bit. You know, going into it, and uh, I'm gonna let her speak because uh, now the uh, the uh, to to put the cherry on top, you know, I guess uh, Biden, Joe Butthead, all right, he uh, he mandated the juice for the truckers, and now the truckers ain't having it, so they're not gonna work. They're not going to deliver those goods on top of the cargo, you know, and everything else that's going on. So I'll just play some of what she say and uh, go from there. This is going to be a death blow to the United States of America. Take a look. Uh, here we have the EpicTimes.com. Vaccine mandates threaten major trucking disruption, industry insiders say. And again. This is going to happen on top of a supply chain crisis. Imagine how bad it's going to be if up to one third of these truckers quit, which is what is being predicted. And I'm going to cover that in detail in a little bit. But this article goes on to state for mandate affected companies. Biden's decision may drive away employees at a time when America needs them most. The American Trucker Association estimates that America needs 80,000 more truckers to meet the transportation need. Now, before I go on, I want to hit pause because this is a powerful point. What that article saying is right now at this point before the mandates have even gone through we are short 80,000 truckers ergo the reason that we're also running into some of these supply chain crises and the ability to get the supplies to our grocery stores to our retail stores to our restaurants and the whole night yards so on top of this 80,000 trucker lack the Biden administration wants to add more to that Right. And he's bragging about it, which just makes me more sick. But back to the article here. The article goes on. Recently, supply chain crises have left many Americans in need. The transportation secretary, Pete Buttigieg, said that the shortage is going to last as long as there's a pandemic. And quite frankly, people, I don't see the pandemic ever going away. But with backups in unloading goods at American ports, shortages already threaten consumers. But if the long line of truckers waiting to ship goods suddenly becomes shorter, that crisis will become far worse, far worse. Whether America runs shorts on trucks depends on the Biden's administration orders and how the truckers respond. Here it goes on. Jim Ward, who is the president of DM Bowman and chairman of the Truckload Careers Association, agreed that truckers are serious about quitting because of these vaccine mandates. He says... With driver availability already limited, any exodus due to compliance with the vaccine mandate would put our nation and its economy in an even more precarious situation, he said. He pointed out that drivers who quit can't easily be replaced because they require training, right? He goes on. Our nation's professional truck drivers are the safest, most well-trained operators on the road today. Replacing any driver... You know, I mean, it's, it's just, she, she reporting, but it's making me think, you know, about the fourth industrial revolution, 
you know, when you look at those plans that they have, part of those plans for the fourth industrial revolution is for everyone to be on a universal basic income. And uh, not only just that, I saw a video earlier as well on uh, CNBC, and I think it was about a week old, it was a week old news report, and how you got robots, which is taking over your uh, wing stops, man. You know, or, or was it, uh, what's the other, what's the other wing joint? Uh, I think it's wing, it's wing stops, or I forgot the name of the other one, but basically they showed you a robot taking over. So, you know, these truckers giving up, you know, quitting, you know, because they don't want the juice, they don't want the juice, all right? Hey, it's all about that controlled demolition, man. Break down and build up. And, um, matter of fact, let me get this scripture, which come to my mind. And this is in the book of Malachi 1 and 1. It's, it says, the burden of the word of Yahweh to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord, yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was, uh, where, was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith, your, saith the Lord? Yet I love Jacob And I hated Esau Alright so Man The Lord is doing all this for us man You know Hey he's, he's, he's destroying this place For the Lord's Elect You know in my case I say hopeful elect Right now because The men starting with the prophets Is prophesizing man Okay And uh as the heartbeat, you know, every second, that's how lessons are going out. Every second, man. Reports, all that. The word, the, the, the gospel, you know, getting this knowledge. All right? So, the Lord is doing all this because he loves who? Jacob. And he says, And I have hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Because he is a vagabond. You know, he has nothing, man. You know, he steals everything. Even even uh, the demonic deities that he pray unto, you know, he basically took from the other nations and their worship of demons, you know, and he made it his, his own. All right? That's why they go to the Vatican. Oh, no, excuse me. I got that on my mind. <laughs> I was watching videos of the apostles uh, getting on them guys talking that madness about the Vatican being Babylon the Great, which is stupid. But um, you have um, the Bahamian Grove, you know, uh, uh, where they got that big statue of the uh, owl, uh, Molech, you know, going back to uh, uh, Moab, you know, like like E, the, the Most High hates you, man. And that's why this uh, glorious wicked kingdom you know that was a cup a golden cup in the lord's hand he's going to destroy it man all right he's going to destroy it and he's doing that now so it says and i have hated esau and laid and, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness is the point whereas edom say we are impoverished but we will return and build the desolate places because at this point too he thinks he's gonna he's gonna bring in this new system all right, where everyone is a transhuman, you know, uh, univ universal basic income. You know, you're going to be happy. They want you to be happy at home, you know, and uh, live in a free rent apartment. But the government, you know, you know, gives you, he gives and he takes away. You know, you got to live according to the government rule. You know, they want us to live like so sort of like China. You know how China are doing things. And I saw a video, too. With um, I don't know the guy's name. He was speaking Chinese. He was Chinese, you know, and he was laughing at America. He was laughing. He was saying there wouldn't there would not be any uproars and protests, you know, because if if they if we adapt if we adopted their ways, you know. So, it says whereas Edom say we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places, 
Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, which is Lord of armies. It says, they shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom Yahweh have indignation forever. Meaning the Lord has a righteous anger against you. All right, Jake, Jacob wanted to slay Jacob. Ever since Jacob, uh, ever since Jacob supplanted him of the birthright and the blessing. You know, even after uh, when you read the story, Esau said when when Isaac uh, passed, he would slay Jacob. All right, so that hatred is still toward us to this day, and that's what it's all about. You know, it's about them receiving this uh, or taking back their birthright which was really never theirs, all right? The Lord set that up because, you know, the Lord liked to dramatize things. He does things, you know, entertaining for himself. You know, he makes a movie. You know, we're living in a movie right now. We're living in the Lord's movie, all right? And that was done that way because that's the way that the Lord wanted to be done, okay? He never punished Jacob for supplanting Esau. He was all for it, okay? He, he ordained that. He told Rebekah, all right, when she was having Jacob and Esau in her stomach, she he told her prophecies, man. The elder shall serve the younger. Two nations in thy womb, all right, shall be separated from thy bowels. All right, one shall be stronger than the other. So that's what this really goes back to, the birthright. Esau's in this race, which he's going to lose because the Lord said, it says, whereas Edom say we are impoverished, but I will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom Yahweh have indignation forever. And your eyes shall see, and ye shall say, Yahweh will be magnified from the border of Israel. So the Lord is with us, man. So these are beautiful times, man. You know, and may everything happen that's supposed to happen you know man let me I'll play a little bit more see if see what else we got driver who leaves the industry is not an overnight process so just what is this process will they expand if biden mandates goes through the most experienced truckers are the most likely to quit morales said in 10 years nearly 30 percent of the trucker and this is just a heads up all right we know the bible stands true so you know with reports like this you filter, taking the information, all right, and 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 you see what the Lord will say. When it happening, it's happening. You know, we 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 of the knowing, man. The Lord said that we're the light. Matter of fact, let me get that. Let me get that. You know, uh, let me get that real quick. This is a book of First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, verse one. It says, "But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I." That I that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as a thief in the night. So we know our Lord is coming. It's just a moment of time and when, you know, all these things got to happen. These prophecies got to come. All right, hey, them angels got to sound that trumpet. Our prayers are going up to that angel, man. What's that in Revelations eight? With that angel, let, let me see if I can get that real quick. You know, cause uh. That angel, man, he's going to have like a censor. And that prayer, the prayers of the saints is going to be in the in the eyes of the Lord, man. In the, in the Lord's mind and smell, man. All right. Let me just read it real quick. So I can. Uh, okay. This is uh, Revelations 8. Revelations 8 and 1. It says, I start at one, and when he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of a half an hour. All right, so meaning John, John the Revelator, you know, it took about a half an hour for him to receive these visions here. Verse two, and I saw the seven angels, Salaki, let me, Salaki, bear with me one second, Let's see some. Right. This is verse two. And I saw the seventh angel, which stood before the most high, Yahweh, 
and to them were given seven trumpets. And, and another angel came and stood at the altar having a golden censer. And there was given unto him much incense that he should offer it with the prayers of all saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne. So don't prayers are the elect. That's why it's important to pray, man. The Lord said he heareth the prayers of the righteous. It's important to pray. All right? Put your prayers up. Pray, man. It says verse 4. Matter of fact, hold up. Yep. The prayers of the elect. Okay? It's like the incense before the most high. You know, when you got an incense and you are, uh, you know, you 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 lit it and it's smelling good. You know, it's a it's a good smell, man. It's a it's a warm feeling, man. You know, and hey, sometimes you might go to a brother crib or something, and you're like, brother, what's that you burning? You know, what's that? You know, what I'm saying you want to know the name of it and all that. You're paying attention to it. The Lord is paying attention to those prayers, man. So we gotta pray. All right. Uh, verse four, and the smoke of the incense which came. With the prayers of the saints ascended up before Yahweh out of the angel's hand. And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. And there were voices and thunders and lightnings and an earthquake. And that earthquake represents the thermonuclear destruction. All right. Upon this place called Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, man. America, man. Not the Vatican City. You know, so uh, this is First Thessalonians 5 and 1. But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travailed upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness that that day shall overtake you as a thief. Why is not going to overtake us? Because we're watching, man. All right? The Lord is giving us this information to, to keep your head up. It's going to come a point, as the scriptures say, look up. It's going to be looking up, man, for deliverance. You know? It says, but ye, brethren, are not in darkness that that day shall overtake you as a thief. Ye are the ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on a breastplate of faith and love. For in helmet, the hope of salvation, man. That's why we say the hope for elect, the hope of salvation, you know. So, you know, I think that's probably it. Let's see. Will be 65 years or older, according to the Department of Transportation Statistics. These drivers often make more money and have cash saved up, he said. The mandate is going to affect the older drivers that have been here a while, and they're going to have a choice. If these drivers retire early it will it will be a challenge to replace them to become a trucker a driver must pass his cdl test a process that usually takes four to seven weeks during the pandemic many truck drivers schools closed and training schools have issued 100,000 fewer cdl so let's just pause right here here's the facts we have 80,000 uh, shortage in truckers right now. We also have a shortage in CDLs because of the pandemic. Many of the drivers' uh, classes and schools were closed, and a hundred thousand CDLs less were issued this this year. If we have a massive uh, or, or a, a lot of people leaving or retiring early as a result of these vaccine mandates, it spells disaster for the United States of America. So the next question is, how many of our truckers? might possibly quit or retire as a result of these vaccine mandates. And I found it in the CNBC article. 
Now, this article is headlined, uh, business groups are asking the White House to delay Biden's COVID vaccine mandate until after the holidays. They're literally begging him because they know they're going to have shortages in everything. Uh, but here's what it says kind of in the middle of the article there, and it's very important. It says the American Trucking Association, which will meet with OMB on Tuesday, warned the administration last week that many drivers will likely quit rather than get vaccinated, further disrupting the national supply chain at a time time when the industry is already short 80,000 drivers. The Trucking Association estimates, and this is big here, companies covered by the mandate could lose 37% of drivers through retirements, resignations, and workers switching to smaller companies not covered by the requirements or the mandates. In other words, 37% could possibly quit, resign, all right, so there you go, man. All right, I'm going to close out with these precepts here. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. For we walk by faith, not by sight. All right, we walk by faith and not by sight. You know, you don't want to get caught up in being afraid, a, a, a okay, and stockpiling and, you know, being carnal. The scriptures say, for we walk by faith, not by sight. All right, this is 1 Corinthians 16, 13. Watch ye stand fast in the faith. Quit you like men. Be strong. You know, straight to the point. Watch ye stand fast in the faith. All right, stand fast in the faith. Okay. Matter of fact, got another one. This is this is the book of Hebrews, chapter eleven and one. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Okay. Romans eight and twenty four. For we are saved by hope, but not but but hope. That is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why do he yet hope for? All right. So let me go back down here to the precept I just read. This is 1 Corinthians 16, 13. Watch ye stand fast in the faith. Quit you like men. Be strong. You know, so with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.